Yep. Yeah. Oh, another one. Bigger. He's bigger. Holy cow, this guy's strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That's a really good one. Josh. Yo. He's back there. What a day. This is it. This is this is the time. Bugs are out. You see these bugs flying around. Everything's getting green. It's April. It's time for some river floats. The water's low. I've never kayaked this river when the water's low. This is going to be a blast. Oh, this water is cold, clear. It's shallow. Josh is going to be using the uh, Bonafide RVR. I'm in the Crescent Shoaly. I've, I've been able to use that kayak once and I wanted him to try it out. He's gonna do kind of a test on it, see how he likes it. Kind of compare them to these kayaks. So that's what these kayaks are made for, skinny water, shallow stuff. And uh, today we're chasing some big smallmouth. Any smallmouth will be great. Um, the sun's up, it's gonna be bright. I'm not sure how the bite's gonna be, but I'm excited to get started. but he's a nice fish. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Number one right there, beautiful brown fish. About 13 and a half. I'll try to get a picture, but he went to close his mouth. Uh, it's, in a, it's in a good area where the current is flowing. He came over and smacked it. There's a lot of carp in here. There ain't catfish, there's all kinds of fish in here. Let's get this guy back in the water. Is that what you call them all with the Uh, just the one. Yeah, I got one fish, so. Is it in kind of a faster current like this? What? And about two feet deep. And I threw it out there, was reeling it in, and I saw him chase it down and hit it. And there was uh, two or three more followed it. That's why I wish I had the anchor. I, I didn't drop it. I'm, I need to rig up an anchor on there. Okay, just, yeah. There's one. Oh, he's a nice one, I think. I know. <laughs> he is staying out there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the same kind of current like I was saying. Oh, nice. That's a nice fish. Come here. Woo. Yeah. Good start. All right, I was drifting that one. That's a pretty fish. What do you think, a 15 inch right there? He's, he's bigger than that last one. Another one on the bubblegum yellow swirl. All right, that was worth a stop. Man, that's a pretty fish right there. Let's get some more of those. Yeah, I got plenty of these. If this is a... Uh... All we can get bites on. Yeah. Oh, another one. Bigger. He's bigger. Oh, he's a big one. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> you see that jump? Dude, this may be an 18, 19 incher and fat. Holy cow, it's a big one. Oh man. I, oh my, dude, this is like a three and a half pounder. I gotta weigh this guy. It's a good thing we got out. Josh said there's a spot down here by the island Isle Scout and Cast. We're trying to get drone footage. I'm not thinking much of really catching fish. I catch that one and I'm like, all right, 
Then boom, this guy is a nice fish. Holy cow. Dude, it's like a fly. This, dude, I gotta get this. This, this is gonna be an intro right here. It better not come off. Holy cow, this guy's strong. Oh, dude, he might be a 20 incher. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look out. I was bleeding. Oh man, that is a jumbo. Okay. Oh my, the bubblegum yellow swirl. Look at that. That is a nice smiley. He was bleeding. I don't know why he was bleeding a little bit. Um, I hooked him at the top of the mouth, but it looks like it stopped. Dude. Dude, thank you. That is a big old, he's 19 inches with his mouth closed. Dude, what a beast, look at that. For a river fish. Oh, I don't know what it weighs. Neither one of us had our scales. Uh, I had my little one, I, I think I left it in my bag. I'll have to search for it. Cause if I get another one like this, uh, that's going. It was 19 inches with the mouth closed. Back up a little bit. Well, I just think mine's on wide view, I guess, is why I'm used to that. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Woo! Boom. Now I got to tie on a leader because I just broke off. Look at who's sitting there. Mine's on narrow view. Or, uh... Where are you from? Northern yep. Northern? That's a big one. Look at that. Goodbye, Mr. Smalley. We're fishing right above this like this shoal here because it's got it's current and a little bit of depth. So we're gonna bring our kayaks over and just fish off this ledge. Then that was two, and then Josh just broke off on one. There's no telling what could be in there. Kind of a noisy little area. A lot of water flowing. We know there's some big ones in there. I'm gonna throw a spinnerbait a couple of times, then we'll go back with the yum dinger. And we'll just kind of work this area for a little while. That was two catches like pretty quick. So not really sure how many boom first cast with the spinner bait dude they are loaded in there another big one holy cow no way insane that is not Josh <laughs> First cast of the spinnerbait. Oh my goodness, it's on. Holy cow, we have to stay here all day. Eighteen incher. Dude, I can't believe that. Those three out there. And then that one first cast on spinnerbait. <laughs> oh, they're putting up such a fight. They're like dead afterwards. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We really got to start moving, but I also got to get my snacks in. We caught, I caught three fish out there, caught one earlier. We really haven't gone very far, but we, we don't have all day. We got to get back and at least like four and a half hours and we probably got uh, seven or eight miles to go.
Oh. Oh, large. Uh, so much stuff on the top. I'm trying to throw this uh, chopper and I keep getting uh, grass. It's like the all that stuff's pushed over here. But this looks perfect ambush. I got these rock ledges. Little... Oh yeah. He nailed that thing. There's a top water effect. Dude, he hit that so hard. This dude was not playing around. We got a little calmer section. And me and Josh, Josh was talking about top water. I think he said he had a hit on one. And I was like, I had this little chopper ready to go. And this guy just crushed it. Just a beautiful, dude, what a day it's been. Got some good stripes hunting. Look how clear this water is, it's wild. Oh! I thought it was a big swim bait, and I did have a follow. Hmm, maybe I should throw a glide bait. First cast on a glide bait. On a glide bait. First cast off those rocks. <laughs> I'm getting more and more confidence in this thing. We go over here and land this guy. Oh! They came off. I was trying to get a good picture of it. Dude, first cast, he came up off these rocks and just smoked it. I was like, six or seven turns in. All right, I got the chest camera on so we can maybe see more of this. If I catch another one, who knows? Um, we'll try. Ooh. There is a lot. I don't know if I just cast in the right area or what. I ain't got a bite from nothing else in a while. Look, I'm right over, oh, there's one. Dude, there's a nice smallmouth cruising right there. Let's see if he wants a bait. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, come on. He wants it, he wants it. Oh, he hit it, he hit it. Yeah, I got a big one on it. Oh, he hit it twice. He looks like he's hungry though. Double. He's right here where my lure is. Throw in there ahead of it. He looks hungry. So I've caught a fish. I had that one on the glide that hit, and then I had a couple hit it. Fat little dude. We've seen a lot. There's a lot of them in here, that's for sure. It's just finding the right current, I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a fish. Oh, yeah. There's another glide bait one. We gotta land this guy and get a picture of him. All right, they was, he was just under 16 inches. Hit him on that uh, S waiver, the smaller one. I just found it today. I, I couldn't figure out where I'd lost it. And I found it in a box, so pretty small mouth. Um, I've been working both lures, or all the lures, you know, different ones, spinnerbait, buzzbait, helgramite, and um, this, the S waiver has got, like that one, I didn't even see that one hit, so that's the first one I've caught, it didn't hit, or didn't see it. I've had a few other follows, but we don't have a lot of time left, so some of these places, the fish just aren't hitting aggressively, except for a couple spots, and that's kind of normal in these long rivers, you're gonna have sec sections where it's dead, and then sections where they're just feeding and um i'm hoping to get a couple more that, that's a nice one i've had a pretty fun day even though it's been kind of slow and with little spurts but the fish i caught earlier and then that guy right there now i'm like oh just a 16 inch those are those are good fish There's another one. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. That's a really good one. Dude, this lure is getting the work done. I cannot believe it. That's a nice one. If I had my net, I keep him up right now. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Dude, man, I know, I know it's my fault. I didn't bring the net. I could have just flipped him in a boat, I guess, but then I didn't want to flip him in with all these hooks. That was at least an 18 inch smallmouth. That's probably a three pounder, maybe bigger than 18. This is, uh, this is kind of cool though. I, I, I'm surprised of all these hits. How far away from the, we get caught around the corner. Yeah, Pretty close. I got a hole right here on the right I want to get. On the right? Yeah. On the left. On the right. I'm gonna, I guess I'll go down the left and go. If you didn't know it, I love river floats and I'm getting more and more addicted to them. And I'm even scouting out thinking about doing one tomorrow um, that I wasn't even planning on doing. Had a blast today. We had some really good spurts and then some really slow spurts. And and I got like my three biggest fish, basically like three casts in a row, I think. I just started messing around with that glide bait because it was kind of slow, but I knew there was, but we saw fish, started getting some bites. Probably, would, I would have landed a couple of those big ones if I had my net, but I didn't want to get a chance of taking all those hooks to the hand. Uh, just an awesome day. Still, the biggest fish came on that small little yum uh, helgramite. That's the uh, bubblegum lemon swirl, a uh, little three inch yum helgramite. That cat that caught the biggest fish, and that 19 incher was huge. He had a big body to it. So, th that one catch alone makes the whole day. That was really awesome. This is the time when I just want to be out and exploring and floating every little bit of river, every river around me, all the ones I already know, new ones, because this is a time when fish are feeding and just getting aggressive and it could be hit or miss and every river is a little bit different. I, you don't all, you're not always going to go out there and just wear them out, but I do think you have a good chance of catching some of those big ones and just having a great day if you hit it right. So I'm going to decide uh, here in a minute what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of kayaking and that was a bigger river. Uh, I'm going to try to do some skin, a lot of skinnier rivers. I already got a lot of trips coming up and um, I think you're going to be excited. At least I'm excited about it. So hope you're excited about it. Thanks for watching and I uh, appreciate all the support.